Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes available on Windows 11 build 25247. In addition, this video will cover the changes from previous releases until build 25217. These changes are not tied to any specific release of Windows 11, however, some of them are expected to arrive as soon as they're ready through feature drops updates and some others may arrive in the next feature update scheduled for the fall of 2023 or even in the next version of windows which could release on 2024 okay here's what's new on windows 11 build 25247 and previous releases on windows 11 the start menu now shows recent websites as part of the recommendations as you can see right here i have to show you the screenshot because on my installation i still don't have that feature. This is in addition to recent apps, files, and recently installed applications. Microsoft says that you can control the websites that appear in the recommended section by right clicking the item and selecting the remove from the list, or you can also stop showing the websites entirely. Starting on build 25247, the quick settings flyout, as you can see on this animation from Microsoft, includes quick access to the new Windows Studio effects for devices that support the Neural Processing Unit or MPU. The features available for Studio Effects will depend on the hardware you have. So because I'm showing you a virtual machine, I don't have any of these features. However, they can include camera effects such as background blur, eye contact, automatic framing, and audio effect. As part of the uh, changes on the taskbar, more specifically for the search button right here, the company is now experimenting a new way to show tips on how to use search and depending on how you use search you will now sometimes see pop-ups as you can see right here on this screenshot from microsoft that tells you how to use search just using a keyboard shortcut as part of the uh, widget experience the company is also experimenting with different positions for the new navigation controls for the widgets board as you can see right here i have it vertical and it shows two icons and that opens the fee on microsoft edge and the videos page for msn also on microsoft edge you also can see that now we have the button to use the widget board on full screen and Windows will remember that view. So if you close and reopen the feature, that will open in full screen mode, but you can always collapse it and shrink it back to the smaller size. Just wanna show you that this is the other implementation that Microsoft is working on, which is a vertical. Yeah, so this is how the new navigation looks like on Windows 11. Oh, and also Microsoft now supports for developers to write third-party widgets for the widgets feature on Windows 11 using the Win App SDK version 1.2 or higher. Microsoft have also been making a lot of changes to the settings up, so let's look at those for build 25,247 and previous releases. So now on the taskbar, we can now see that the touch keyboard setting has been converted from a toggle switch to a drop in menu and now you have these options that you can use with this feature also on the taskbar behavior settings now we get an option to show seconds on the system tray clock as you can see right here i have it enabled so now we have the hour minute and seconds showing on the system tray in the power settings now we have a new option called energy recommendations and inside here depending on the hardware that you have and how your computer is configured windows 11 will now suggest ways to change the settings to save energy and lower your carbon footprint you can do it one by one and you also have an option to apply all the recommendations also the account settings page will now show a warning when your onedrive account is running out of space with an option to purchase more storage. The storage usage warning is not only for OneDrive, but also for all the Microsoft services that uses storage in the cloud, as you can see right here on this screenshot from Microsoft. On build 25,227 or higher releases, Windows 11 will now sync 
your voice typing and automatic punctuation settings across devices as long as you're using the same Microsoft account. If you don't like this feature or you want to change the setting, you can do so from the Windows backup setting, more specifically under Remember My Preference section and by clearing the accessibility option. On the disk management feature on the settings tab, when you go to the properties from a disk and you try to change the partition style, you will now get a warning that you might lose your data if you change the partition style. Also on the network and internet settings, more specifically on the internet, on the ethernet settings, also on network and internet, more specifically on ethernet, the page will now show you the default gateway as part of the summary for the networking settings. Other changes in the settings app includes an updated design for the startup page, as you can see right here. And now also we're going to see that depending on the type of application, we're going to see an option to open the app installation folder. In this case, this is for classic apps and for Microsoft Store apps, we're going to see this option right here that takes you to the app settings page. On the recovery page, Microsoft is also working on updating the wizard for the rollback feature, which is this one right here. And as you click that button, we now see that we get a new interface that matches the design language of Windows 11. But this one is actually a hidden feature because it's still under development, so you have to enable it manually. Also, on the About page, under the related settings, we're going to find an option called trade in or recycle your PC that gives you related links to backup your data or remove your data from the computer, plus another link, which right now it doesn't link to anything relevant. It only takes you to this Surface Devices website. And let me just click these links and see where that takes us. And that just takes us to this page right now. And this just to another help page for Microsoft to back up your folders to OneDrive. As part of the uh, suggested action feature changes, when you now select and copy the text, you will now get an option to search that selection on the web, more specifically using Bing and Microsoft Edge. But you can also click the menu button to access the settings. Of course, if you're, of course, if you select a different type of data such as a phone number when you copy that information you will get suggestions to make a phone call in this case or use the phone link app windows 11 is also rolling out an updated version of the task manager app that includes a new filter feature that allows you to search processes using the binary number the process id or publisher name so let's just do a search for Microsoft. And now we can see that everything has been filtered out just to show the Microsoft services. If you go to the details page, you can also use the search. And let me just do a search for explore. And as you can see, now we can quickly get to that specific process. Just like search on File Explorer, for example, we can use the Alt F keyboard shortcut to enable focus on that search, and then you can type whatever you want. But that's a good way to start the search using the keyboard. Another important change on the new task manager is that now we have the option to change the theme color to light or dark independently for the system color scheme. In the past, the app were able to switch between the two themes, but it will only respond to the system theme that you have configured on your computer. But moving forward, you can choose the theme that you want. For example, now we can switch it to the dark mode while we have the light theme across the system. 
In addition, Microsoft is also updating some of the UI that hasn't been updated yet. And on this case, the dialog box that appears when you do certain actions will now use the new modern design that we're seeing across Windows 11. Finally, this version of the app makes it easy to apply efficiency mode and offers the ability to opt out of the confirmation dialog, as you can see right here. And those were pretty much all the most interesting improvements and new features available on Windows 11, build 25,247 and previous releases until build 25,000. 217. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.